Hello there, my name is Ismo. So yeah, I'm sitting here working on this scene here and then I realized I've not done a tutorial on uh, how to use arrays on lights or modifiers on light, on lights. Uh, so yeah, let's do that. So what I want to do here, I'm creating this scene here. It's a sci-fi tunnel and uh, what I want to do is uh, I have these emission lights, but uh, in Eevee, uh, they don't really emit any lights uh, that can create, that can illuminate the scene. Uh, so you have to add in actual lights, lamps, uh, to kind of illuminate uh, the scenes uh, for you using, uh, so that it creates the illusion that uh, the light is coming from these uh, mesh lights, which Blender Eevee doesn't support. Uh, Cycle supports it, but uh, Eevee doesn't really support it. Uh, so the best way to do it is uh, to duplicate these lights uh, to to the length of uh, the tunnel itself, uh, like we are doing here. And uh, the way I'm duplicating this uh, is I'm using uh, the array modifier to duplicate the meshes uh, the length to the length of uh, the tunnel. But uh, lamps don't really support uh, modifiers. You can see the modifier stack is also hidden uh, from the lamp itself. It's not accessible there uh, because it doesn't support it. So uh, this is a quick trick uh, to get uh, the lamp to work like they support uh, the uh, the modifiers. So for example, uh, if I want to duplicate this along uh, the length of this uh, tunnel, what I can do is uh, create a plane and since a plane uh, supports uh, meshes, I can just parent this lamp to any of the vertices uh, to the, and position it on any of the vertices on this mesh. And uh, the best way to handle this is that first delete the face itself and only retain uh, the vertices and edges. So I can just go to edit mode, X, and then delete only faces so that uh, the actual face doesn't get in the way uh, of, so that it's not even rendered in the scene. So now I can parent this to the mesh, select this lamp, parent it to this mesh, control P, and I move it to any of the vertices or the positions of the vertices. And now if I select this mesh and go to the uh, display properties, I can turn on instancing that says uh, so that this edge is uh, duplicated or instanced at every position of any vertex on this mesh. And uh, I can just center this because I've selected so that uh, the instances at, at every point or at every vertex. Now I can use the array on this mesh and you can see we can have the same thing. Now it's like we are applying uh, the modifiers to, to the array. Sorry, the modifiers to the lights. And now it's not, we're not only limited to this. So if I wanted this to bend, I can just add a bend modifier. Uh, where is that? Simple deform modifier. And you can see uh, the lights will deform in the same way as you expect uh, this to happen. I want bend. Let me just add an object, an empty, somewhere along there, and I just use that as the object. It should make my life quite easier. You can see now I have bendable lights. And how nice is that? So. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to move this mesh now into position there. And now I know I can have, yeah, those lights. I want to be them to be positioned here so I can just go into edit mode. I don't want to scale this outside edit mode because it might scale the light as well. So I'm just going to do this in edit mode. And uh, now I know that I have at least a light positioned at where I want that to be. So if I turn on lights here and see that uh, the lights, all the lights, the entire scene is illuminated, but uh, this is a bit too much, too strong. So let me reduce that to about um, 50, maybe give it the same color as, and I just to make sure, I don't know if I should turn off shadows or not, because I will have a lot of lights and it's going to be take a lot of computation power to render, I think. See, it looks nice, 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 nice. 
nice and uh, i have another light source here so i can just do the same just select this light and this shift d to duplicate it bring it down and uh, just reposition everything like so and uh, now instead of using the uh let me first turn off this simple deform instead of using this um it's called instead of using const relative offset i'm just going to use constant so let me just okay these lights are slowing down my scene quite significantly so let me first turn them off and uh, work without them uh, and i can even reposition these or just separate this entire point and delete these middle edges now i can reposition uh, the lights on this side to match to align with the lights on this side select these align them like that now let's bring back the lights you can see what we have and uh, since this is a separate light i can also give it a different color if i wanted to i think that is nice um yeah, there is a dog in my neighborhood. It's not really mine. I don't have a dog. Uh, their neighbor is not really serious about it. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, there is nothing like because uh, it seems like it doesn't really treat it, treat it very well. And uh, there is nothing like animal. Uh, how is it called in the US? Animal protection here. You call the cops and they would just laugh at you something uh so it's uh, just yeah that's it i think i'm just going to trick this further and uh, the time lapse for this uh tutorial i'm going to make it into i'm going to make it animated i will have a spaceship chase scene and maybe even make this tunnel curve because I don't think uh, it works very nice if it's just a straight line. Actually, let me do it here. Let me first turn off these lights. Are they just slow down everything quite significantly? Uh, I want this to bend around, so I'm just going to add a curve, basic curve, scale it up, rotate it 90, just turn it to hit v automatic actually hit v automatic and then just get this just want it to curve because i think that would make a better scene and now all i have to do is uh let me first make sure that uh, origin is somewhere there now all i have to do is uh, start one object at a time and uh, then add a curve modifier and do that actually i want this to start from this side not that side and i think the reason why it's going that side is because of the direction of the normals so let me turn those that on and see normals okay you can see that uh, they are coming from this side to this side so i need to switch them to switch the direction of the normals uh, so that this comes uh, from this side and uh, that would make my life quite easy so i'm just going to and uh, i actually don't have to move this you just have to change the direction of the array uh, from a positive value to a negative value so that it goes the other direction and uh, now all i have to do is uh, select i think let me see can i copy modifiers yeah copy to selected so i can select this and then this then uh, i want okay it seems i can't copy 
modifiers. I can only copy values. Okay, that's not a problem. Let's just uh, copy, just add uh, the curve modifier. Select the curve and uh, change the array back to an, uh, to a negative value. And we should, yeah, now you can see that uh, the bend is starting to happen. Let's do this for this as well. Uh, give it a negative array value. And then a curve objects. And uh, what else? Uh, we also have these curves here. Um, mm, curve. Then a negative array value. Then what else? Uh, even these lights, I can see they're still going straight. So I would need to let me first turn off this sim simply simple modifier. I need a curve. Uh, then a negative array value. Let me just increase the curve. The array count. I think that's it. And I think this is actually looking far better than how we started off. Let me see how it would look in cycles. Even much, much better. Yeah, thank you for watching. I will, yeah, see you in the next story.